Hi, YouTube. Thanks for joining me today on my podcast. My name is Cameron Simpson from CS Trades 101. Today we are going to be covering stock chart symbols, three of them. Before I get started, just get this out of the way. I'm not a financial advisor or a broker. I'm just doing this for a hobby and entertainment purposes only. You, everybody here should be doing their own due diligence. Don't trust anybody, especially in the stock market. Okay, let's jump on in here today. We are going to be looking at spin tops is the first one, okay? That's, uh, that's the one, two equal wicks. It could be bearish or bullish, green or red, okay? Good or bad. It has to have equal wicks on each side. Dead center bar, uh, the bar dead center, okay? The body, I guess would be the technical name. The next would be three crows. Black and white is the Japanese chart um, for counting rice. Back in the day, that's what they do for weighing rice. We use um, a more generic over here, Canadian American standard chart. Um, it's red, green, okay? They used white, black. That's where this terminology, it's really old. Um, it's, I, I haven't converted it over because I like to keep the original format. Okay. So just scratch that out. And I'll, if I fill it in with green or black, black or green or red, that's what I mean. Okay. So, uh, three crows, three crows has to have a good upward trend followed by a downtrend. Okay. Bullish followed by bearish. Okay. Bullish is good bearish bad okay then we're gonna have the three crows or three soldiers three white soldiers okay so three soldiers because we're not using that terminology okay it's a downtrend okay so you'd have a bunch of red bars red candlesticks down and then all of a sudden you would have three up green and what that is called three soldiers that's good that's bullish Okay, so let's jump on over here and we're going to use this template of Blackberry. I'm just going to jump on this other monitor. You guys can follow me on this diagram in front of you. So what we are going to look for is this. Okay, so these are three. This would be called, this would be called three soldiers. Okay. Right here, because you have the downtrend, right? And then uptrend. Okay, it's hard to find these symbols, so we're just going to pretend there's three here. Okay, so it's a downtrend followed by three. I know we have four, but I'm just they're using this as a template. Okay, so you'd have a downtrend, and then you'd have three soldiers, which would be an uptrend. It has to be a red candlestick followed by three to have that terminology right. Okay, the other way would be the, the crows. Okay, so being uptrend, right? You'd be sitting at the uptrend and you'd be followed by three. There's, I know there's four here, but we're going to say there's three and that would be three crows. Okay. And that's bad, right? So that would be bearish. And the other one we're calling is a top, spin top. Okay. There's one right here. The body isn't that big to see, but it's equal wicks. Okay. On each side of the body. So we'll find a better one here for you guys. Oh, there's one right there. Okay right there in the center see how it, the body right here there can be there can be two different types there can be bearish or bullish there can be red or green okay so there's one right there that would be a uh, bearish okay that's bullish okay and i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a freebie okay today that's called the hammerhead that's uh inverted hammerhead okay see the hammer right there there you go. There's your free knowledge. And uh, the reason why I'm covering this today is uh, um, a friend of mine contacted me on Messenger, Christy, and she was asking me questions about how to read charts. And I'm like, oh, um, yeah, there's lots to learn. Um, so this is the basics, Christy. And um, we're going to assume that this is very basic, that the people that um, this is ed educational, there's no bullying or anything, no bad comments or don't, doesn't matter where you're starting, where you are. If you're more educated, then just wait. There'll be some more videos coming out down the road. We got uh, probably about six months of this on weekends. And sorry about not covering it yesterday, guys. I know there's a list of people waiting to watch the show. I had technical issues yesterday. It happens um, once in a blue moon. I don't know what the problem was because it started working in the afternoon. It was something with the internet software okay um if you wanted to watch more of these videos they'll be out next weekend and uh we're gonna have all all week we're gonna be covering the market so if you wanted to subscribe down below hit that thumbs up 
down below. And if at the end, if you want to make yourself $10 Canadian free cash towards stocks, or you can just squirrel it away in your account for a rainy day, you can call, you can use my broker and it is wealthsimple.com trades. Okay. It's a trading platform. There's a code down below. You can put that code in for referral and get yourself a free $10. Okay. Thank you very much. And Wolfpack, keep it real. Peace out, guys. Have a good day. It's Mother's Day today. I'm going to take my mom out. Look at this weather out today, eh? Isn't this awesome? Yeah, I'm going to take mom out today, and I'll see you later, mom. Take you out for lunch, and uh, we'll go for a walk around the bird sanctuary. They got this new bird sanctuary down the road. It's so beautiful. My wife was there the other day, took our daughter there, and uh, I'm just dying to check it out. Um, she said there's a, a lot of cool stuff going on with the spring and stuff, the new ducks and stuff. So, yeah, it's going to be a beautiful day out there, okay? Okay, take it easy, guys. Keep it real.